Today you can join Florida Engineering doing a serve and a milestone. So we're here today doing an SIRS, which stands for Structural Integrity Reserve Study. What that does is that gives the association an idea of all the estimated useful life of the components, the major components on the building, starting from the roof all the way down to the foundation, uh, and kind of everything in between, electrical, plumbing, uh, things of that nature and we assign a value to each of those to make sure that they have enough funding in the reserves that when the end of that uh, useful life comes to, that they have the money available to replace it. So we're gonna walk around the outside of the building and we're looking for cracks on the side of the building. We're looking for any undermining or erosion uh, underneath the foundation. We're looking for any signs of differential settlement. Uh, when we come across these HVAC AC condensing units, we want to make sure that they're always mounted to a solid platform and strapped in place. That's going to help us with any of the uplift. We're checking out all the disconnects, make sure that the, excuse me, making sure that the covers are all on them. This particular property has a pool, and while that's not included, on an SIRS, we always stop and take a look at it because one other component on an SIRS is anything repair that would be $10,000 or more in value. And if there's large issues surrounding the pool or any of the pool equipment, then it could very quickly add up to that $10,000 number. So what we're looking for inside the units is evidence of drywall cracking along the ceiling, down the walls, shifting, anything that might indicate a foundation issue or cracking. Uh, we're also, this is a ground floor unit, but when we go up to the higher levels, we're looking at the balconies to try and understand uh, what the components are that make it up. We're looking for any uh, signs of spalling or cracking. So as we're walking through the buildings, we're taking note of all the ways that we can get from the top floor down or vice versa. And oftentimes we have stairwells. Uh, we're taking note of the type of stairs that they are. In this case, this particular building has a set of concrete stairs with metal handrails. So we're taking note of that and the condition. There's a couple elevators on this building also. Uh, we're taking a look inside the elevator rooms. We're going through there making sure that we can notate the age of the equipment uh, and the condition as well and uh, just overall picture of what's happening with this building. We're taking a look at the outside edge of the slab, check for spalling, cracking. Uh, we're looking at the overall condition. We're looking at what we have going on above, find out what it's constructed out of. Notating any cracking, any issues. All right, so with the new state milestone form that'll be implemented in June, so there's special features that they're asking about now. So we're gonna look at carports, uh, large statues, any structures, any other special features that are not typical to your average building. We're also looking at balcony construction, the type of support. In this situation over here, we have the cantilevered concrete balconies. Right here, they're equipped with aluminum rails, they're screened in. We're looking for anything major that could be structurally significant with those features. We're also looking at stair systems. We're looking at elevated walkways in addition to the structural systems of the building. 